Okay, for lesson one, let's start with this idea of a room. It doesn't really matter how large the room is because we're pulling personal area samples from a worker down here in their breathing zone. So you would have sample media, and this is the inlet, the air that would be traveling in and something would be deposited onto a filter. You have some flexible tubing going into a portable sampling pump, which is drawing air in at a certain flow rate. Or Q, which is expressed in volume over time. Most pumps are set to liters per minute. Now we want to sample for a given time. Say eight hours or two hours. Usually we're going to try to sample cumulatively eight hours, which will be in conjunction with following the OSHA technical manual. We may be greater or less than that. So when we begin, before we even start to sample, to pull air in and deposit something on the media, we have to ensure that we're calibrating or setting our pump to the appropriate flow rate. So in scenario number one, we pre-cal at 1.7 liters per minute. And then we want run two samples. We run one sample from 4 a.m. to 11.30 and another sample from 12.30 to 4.30. When we're done with that, we come back and we take our calibration media, which is the same one we used for our pre-cal, and we post-calibrate. And we found that our, the sampling or the flow volume of our pump had changed slightly. It had changed to 1.72 liters per minute. Now ultimately we need a sample volume to report to the lab so that they can give us our concentration because we're pulling a certain volume of air through our pump. But because there's a difference in our pre and post calibration, we don't know what the volume of air we actually pulled was. It's something in between. So if you've never sampled before, keep in mind that you have calibration media, media, which looks example, exactly like your sample media. These two are used to sample from 740 to 1130, and then again from 1230 to 430. You pre-calibrate with this sampler, the media that looks exactly like this one but isn't used to draw samples, and you post-calibrate with the same one. This standardized calibration media represents a certain amount of drag in the system and can reduce any kinds of errors in our sampling. So now we've just done a setup to solve the first problem.